राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वन सिनेरियो बेस्ड पावर बी ए इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच वॉज रिसेंटली आस्ड एट जिनपैक्ट विच इज अ बिग मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी यू ऑन लो दिस सीनैरियो वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ माई लिंकड इन कनेक्शन एंड दिस सीनैरियो इज वेरी ट्रिकी इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट इट यू वोट बी एबल टू आंसर दिस इन योर इंटरव्यू सो दैट्स आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड एंड बी फोकस थ्रू आउट द वीडियो as it will be very much helpful for you all all right let's start the video and before that please do like this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with geeks so now you can see on the screen i have a screenshot of that scenario which was provided to me so the scenario is dynamic top and selection through a table for example if top 10 selected in slicer then rows should return top 10 products with sales and last row should return the sum of sales of rest of the 90 products categorized as others means there should be 11 rows returned face this question in genpact and i couldn't answer properly this is very very important interview question and it is frequently used in the real time use cases also in the visual presentation you can see right now on the screen so if we select top 2 the top two rows means the top two products should show with the respective sales plus there should be another row with with the name as others and it should show me the rest of the sales of the products so this is the requirement from the interviewer now let's see how we can achieve this in power bi so for this i will first proceed with my top n values slicer and for that i will create that using what if parameter so i will go to uh, modeling and click on new parameter and click on numeric range here what i will do i will name it as top n it is whole number minimum value i will keep it as 2 because i want to show at least top two products and the maximum i will set it to 5 increment is by 1 just to show how to solve this i am taking this numbers you can take any other numbers also as per your requirement click on create so now we have top n slicer on our page i will just change the slicer setting to vertical list So this is my first step I have the slicer. Now the next step is how to add that others row in our table. And I just forgot to show you the raw data that I am using over here. I just used one fact table and only two columns are there product column and revenue column. Now I will proceed with another table so that I can grab the product values and add others also as a single row in that table. How to do that? I will go to home, click on this new table. i will name it as all products all underscore products equal to so here i will first make use of union dax function why am i using union i want the union of my product values along with others as a single row value so for that my first table is fact table and i want to get the products from that table so for that what i will do i will return a table through values function and in under values what i will put product columns so this will return me the distinct all the products from there then my second table is basically nothing i need to add that as others so for that i will make use of table constructed over here constructor basically it is called table constructed and under quotes i will put others so this is my second table i will close the bracket for union and let's see what does this result so you can clearly see now i have a table where i have all the products plus a single row of others also that's what is required right and this is how we can do that so this is my second step what all things i have done till now I created a top end slicer then I created all products table now my third and the final thing that we have to do is to create top end products measure so for that I will go to the reporting view and I will create a measure over here top products top underscore products equal to now I will start making use of variables you will understand why I am making use of variables in few seconds but for now let's proceed with variable so in the first variable what I will do I will store top n value from that slicer. So for that top n underscore value. Here what I will do? I will make use of top n slicer value that we will select. So that is coming over here. I will choose this. Now my next variable is what should I return in the next variable? In the next variable I will return the top n rows. Okay. So I will name it as top n underscore rows. And in this I will make use of top n dax function to return the top rows according to a specified expression so my first argument is n and from where we can get that n i have already stored that in top n variable right so i will directly make use of top n underscore value variable so this is my first argument second argument is my table 
so here i will make use of my all products table rather than fact table because in my all products table we have all the values so here my i will make use of table which is all products which is over here it is a good practice to in also include a all dex function so that it nullifies all the filter context my next argument is the expression with the help of which i want to top in so i want to top in on the basis of their total sales so total sales have measure i have already created which is basically the top basically which is the sum of uh, this revenue column so just a simple measure and then i will close the bracket for top n rows so this will return the top n rows i hope it is clear now my next variable is variable top n underscore sales now i want to calculate the top n sales till now what we did we stored the top n value then we return the top n rows now we are calculating the top n sales so for that what i will use i will make use of calculate function over here my measure which is total sales then very very important function over here which is keep filter function we will make use of keep filter function okay it is usually used with calculate or calculate table and what it does it adds filter to the current context right now you might not understand its importance but later on i will show you when i will remove this function directly use this top and rows so now under key filters my expression is there so in that i will make use of top n rows which i have calculated just now close the bracket for key filter close the bracket for calculate so here what i am doing i have calculated the top n sales and the important concept is i am making use of key filter function so till i hope it is clear till now now my next variable is variable other sales and other underscore sales now i want to calculate the other sales because you know right we need to show the top n plus the others also containing the summation of rest of the product revenue so for that what i will do i'll make use of calculate function over here again my top sales measure and here i will make use of all dax function and here i will again make use of my all products table so what it will return it will return all the total sales irrespective of the filter context so the complete total sales is retained in this section so this is my total sales minus what i have to minus i have to minus the top n sales because whatever we will select we need to subtract it and store it in others but again a very very important concept coming over here i will not directly use this top n sales to subtract from the overall sales why because you will see it later on if i will directly use this top n sales variable it will return a blank value for the others row and hence my measure will not work i have already tried and tested so that's why i'm telling you before and you will see it later on also so how i have to minus from here is i will again make use of calculate table i will again make use of total sales and in this filter part i will make use of this particular top n rows variable okay so top n rows variable i will use so what i did overall sales minus the top n sales which will give me the others category total sales now my next thing is return so i will return what i will return again very very important concept if i will make use of a statement if selected value selected value of my all products is equal to others then what you do return me this variable which is others other sales else return me my top n sales close the bracket of if so if the selected value of the product column of all products table is others then return this other sales else return me the top n sales whatever we have selected so for now let's proceed with this measure and code and let's see what we are getting in our final output pulled my all products and now we'll pull my top products measure now you can see on the screen nothing is happening why because our fundamental relationship between all products and fact table is missing so what i will do i will go to the data modeling tab i will create a relationship between with product column of fact table and product column of all products table so you can see it is throwing me one to one relationship but another important point in the fact side it should be many and in the all product side it should be one because you know we have unique set of products plus others so it has to be many to one always remember this point while creating the relationship otherwise things won't work and this you can put it as single many to one side and I make this relationship active so now you have one to many relationship between all products and factable so now i have created my model also now let's go to the report view and see the result 
now if i click on top two you are seeing the right result the top two products and the others with the rest of the category if i click on top three you will see top three products with the respective total sales and the others row containing rest of the total sales so it is working fine but you can see on the screen the total value is not working the total value is 13000 which should be 38000 which is overall sales so what modification we should do on our, on our total products measure let's see that so here what i will do if our total is not working we should include another if over here and make use of has one value dax function and in this i will again make use of all products product column okay if this is true then give me then go to this if section else return me the total sales so basically this is how we fix the total because in the total row filter context is not going to reinforce that filter context we are explicitly doing that using if has one value so that it goes to the total value and solve our condition so now let's see if it works or not and i have clicked on enter and you can see over here the total is also working which is 38000 wait now as i mentioned while explaining while writing this code what will happen if i don't use key filter over here and directly use this top and rows which is also resulting a table let me do that and show to you what what it will return so instead of this control x and i have direct, i will directly use top and rows let's see the result i clicked on enter and you can clearly see when i clicked on top 2 it is showing me the top two, the total sales in different rows of ABCD. Others is working fine, but this ABCD EFG to IGK, the overall value is showing as 13,000. So basically what key filters was doing, it was adding the filter context to the current context. So I hope it is clear this part, why we kept key filters over here. Again, what I will do, I will make use of same code that I used earlier. Now let's see the result. We are getting the right result. Now, as I mentioned while writing the code, why i use this part again i'm explaining you i didn't directly use top n underscore scales why because top n underscore scale will return blank when it will reach to this others row so when it will return blank means it will return zero so total means 38000 minus zero it will return 38000 itself let me show you that i will just control x and directly use this top n sales see the result you can see in the others category 38000 is returned which is not we require again i will replace the code if you like this video please leave a comment down and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you